Apparently my superpower is having a 50-50 chance and being wrong 75% of the time. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian. You're watching Angling Anarchy. We're on Eagle Lake and we're making bad decisions apparently. In fact, 75% of the time, it's more like 90% of the time I've been wrong. Uh, I don't know. We're getting some fish out here. Jim and I are doing okay. Last night was a little frustrating. We had some fish going in weeds and left fish to go find fish, I guess. We had a really strong rock bite on um, with blades and we left the weed fish to go tackle that and we came up with nothing and uh, our buddies stuck it out in the weeds and did pretty good. Matt got a 48 and uh, they saw quite a few fish so uh, a little bit of a oopsie there but we're back out this morning we've got really good conditions as you can see um, a little foggy a little overcast so Jim and I are gonna start banging rocks right away and uh, Matt and Nate are up in the weeds so um, we'll fish these spots and see what each other is doing and go from there. But yeah, that's it. Let's start fishing. Jeez. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, he wasn't very big. Oh, that was a big fish. That was a, that was a big old whale tail there. Shoot. Here we go. You might hit Jim. Come on, baby. I think you finally gave up on me. That was a nice fish. Shoot. That was a good one. Where did he come from? A no man's land? Oh, there he is. Oh, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> he was right on that son of a gun. I think he boogied back by me, you know? Hit it. Yep. He, like he put a little boost, boost yep. down there. And They've all been doing that. Put a little kick behind it and then just kind of give up. Come on. Ugh. Driving me nuts.
Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, geez, that's probably, that's probably the smallest muskie in Eagle Lake. Oh, yeah. Nope, nope, he, he took two stabs at it. Quite honestly, don't want to monkey with that, I guess. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> that's dumb. Fish. Oh, it's a pike. It's a pike. Who? Man. I mean, it's not a bad pike, but it's pike. Boy, he just <laughs> bait was just in view, and he clobbered it. You got the whole hook, didn't you, buddy? Yeah, I know. Thanks for that. Okay. Oh, let's get you spun around here, maybe. Okay. <laughs> All right, yeah, 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 I know, thanks. Thanks for the ride. Yeah. The heck with you two. All right. All right, we've got your uh, post luncheon nap update here from Eagle Lake. It was an eventful morning. We saw 10 fish. I'm not sure how many of those I'm going to show uh, once I get the sucker edited, but uh, Jim had a shot at a nice one. Um, a lot of close calls this morning. It was the first morning that we fished, actually the first day that we fished up here this trip, that we didn't get a fish in the net. So that was a little unfortunate, but it was tough for everybody we talked to. Um, we've got partly cloudy conditions, hopefully might have a little bit of weather coming in this afternoon, but it's not looking promising. But if we can just get partly cloudy slash overcast, that would be fantastic. And uh, we're gonna go see what we can do. Uh, the wind is almost non-existent, so don't have to worry about that. It'd be nice if we get a little bit of breeze, but. 70 degree water temps and uh, very comfortable out. So let's see if we can get a muskie. All right, for the afternoon here, Jim and I are gonna try to try uh, throwing top waters in uh, some weeds. So I've got the old obnoxious bee, back and forth jitterbug with the tail spin, throwing it on a salt stick 2020 surgical strike. We're the Tranks 400. Jim's got the same rig except a 401 Tranks and he's gonna be throwing something a little bit less obnoxious in just a prop tail top raider so that's what we're going to do probably for the rest of the afternoon we've got a nice afternoon to do this so let's see if we can get some fish moving on top waters Oh, here comes a fish. Come on. I didn't pull it away from him. He, he nipped it. Oh yeah, he, he nipped it and he just, uh, how that back hook didn't get him, I have no idea. And he just went sliding down there. 
that is extremely frustrating. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I mean, up here, he sort of moved at it, but, I mean, that last move that he did, yeah. like, literally, the, the hook was inside of his mouth, and he just didn't get it. Oh, God. That was a nice fish. Mm -hmm. Fudge. All right. Huh, okay. Chase one to me. Yeah. Oh, I I got one coming. I got one coming. Are you kidding me? Oh. <laughs> He's still there. He's still there. Put it under the water, they say. Dude, did you see it waking? No, I, I wasn't really paying attention. Yeah, I, I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> when I cast at your boat and said, push one to me. It worked. Well, that was dumb. Oh, here we go. Here we go, Jim. Oh, he gave up on it. Are you kidding me? He didn't want anything to do with it after that. Oh, man. All right, ladies and gents, we are doing an outro on the run here. We are sort of under duress because the mosquitoes are absolutely horrid out here. Um, I don't like posting no fish videos. Now, that being said, there's a lot of cool stuff that happens in this video, um, but that's just the reality of musky fishing. And if it was that easy, I guess everybody would be doing it. It's just us crazy knuckleheads that are out here <laughs> and put up with these stupid fish. So, uh, yeah, uh, lots of opportunities. It was a game of fractions of an inch today, absolutely. Jim's fish early on, I had at least three opportunities of, of fish hitting uh, topwater baits. And if, you know, a quarter inch one way or another, and we're in business, and we weren't. So, that's that day. What is this? Four or five? I don't know. I lose track, which is kind of a nice thing. But anyway, we're going to go back, regroup, do this all again tomorrow. Thank you for watching this video. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you on the next one.